Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video now. Yes, as you can see from the title, another NCT video. Now before I start, I just want to say, because this is going to sound like a moan about Ireland, but believe me, I'm not. Ireland is a fantastic country. Uh, well, it's a beautiful country and most of the people are the nicest people you'll ever meet. If you ever want to come, it is a fantastic place to come. It is beautiful. It is Well, I can't say enough about it. But I can say a lot about how it's ran because it's ran by absolute morons and muppets. But then again, I suppose every country is, isn't it? And if you do come to Ireland, you might see some leprechauns. So there we go. So the first thing is... Before we actually get on about the NCT, a bit of a backstory that these things actually happened in Ireland. Once they were building a, what's called the Dublin Port Tunnel, it was to take all the big lorries from coming into Dublin or coming in from the port to go underneath and, you know, to stop the traffic building up in the cities and stuff like that. So they built it especially for these big lorries that come in from Europe and everything. It cost billions. And then when they finally came to open it, they realised the big lorries couldn't fit in. They made it too small. They made it too small. It's true. Check it out. Also, the Dublin M50 has got a toll bridge on it. And it's making millions a day. And they sold the rights to that for absolute nothing. I believe it's a Spanish company that owns that too. I could be wrong. But anyway. And also, a few years ago, they was doing a, 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 a cervical test for women. And, you know, to make sure that they're okay. They're not dying of, like, cancer. And they sent all the results they gave it to some company in america and they sent all the results away and they all came back and women were getting the wrong results women were dying because they said they were clear and they wasn't clear it was unreal and this is happening they sent these away to another country why keep it in house anyway let's get on to the nct so what happened in the north as you've seen from my other video is the tests uh, now, well, let's get this right. In Ireland, I'm in Ireland and Northern Ireland, they're two separate countries. And in Ireland, and it's different in the UK as well, but in Ireland, Southern Ireland, you have to go to a special centre called the NCT and you get your car tested. This centre, bear in mind, is making pure profit over £80 million a year. Pure profit, right? So, it gets better. Because the Irish government, in their ultimate wisdom, have decided to tender that out. And at the minute, it's a Spanish company that's running the Irish NCT. So they're, all they're interested in is making money. Where well, they shouldn't be interested in making money, it should be a road vehicle safety test. Now, I was in Ireland before that came in. And yes, it's definitely made a huge difference. The cars that were knocking around before were utter, unreal, bad. Now, at least the cars are, you know, kind of good. It's not the guys in the test centre, it's the way it's run. I'm not blaming any guy in the test centre because they're, at the end of the day, they can only do what they've been told to do. They can't do any more or any less. So it's not there, it's just the way it's run. So Ireland is basically losing over 80 million a year in revenue, which is ridiculous. Why not keep that again in your own country and, you know, put it to some use rather than giving it to some other country, um, Spain, and you get everyone in the EU is bailing out Spain and yet they're getting absolutely millions from Ireland. I mean millions, it's ridiculous. So, they've basically closed all the test centres down. 47 of them in Ireland have been closed down a couple of days after they were closed down in the north. And the problem is, again, in the island's ultimate wisdom. In the north, they just said, right, we're going to shut them all down, we're going to repair the lifts, and we're going to get it back up and working in a couple of months. And they were giving people extra time and all that. That's, that's you know, it's a shit situation, but at least they've kind of said that. But no, 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 no. In Ireland, what they said they'll do is, we will do half of your test, and then you can come back and get it finished. I don't know if we have to pay twice. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. But the problem is, in Ireland... The nearest test centre for me is 35 miles away. So the, most people have to drive a good few, you know, maybe an hour's drive to get to the nearest test centre. And their work is the opposite way. So they either have to take time off work, get the car tested, and if it fails, then they have to come back to a garage, take more time off work, bring it back to a garage, getting it fixed, picking it up, and then going back to the NCT, take another day off work to get it passed. So essentially, you could have a couple of days messing around that you're not at work losing money because of the test. It's utter, utter ridiculous. They're not allowed, to, you're not allowed to do a test in a garage. But yet, 
it gets better. The DOE, which is the commercial side of the test, you are allowed to do in a garage, providing you've got the right equipment, you, 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 you're allowed to do the test on the commercial vehicles, but not the cars. And it's, it's just a joke. It's an absolute joke. The vehicle test is 55 euros to do a test and it's 28 euros for a retest. Now you might think that's not too bad, but it's the fact that you have to basically take a couple of days off work if it fails. And there's some really, really stupid, utterly stupid things that they do. Um, the little adjuster on your headlights, if it's not adjusted to zero, I had a car the other day that failed. And all I did it was set on number three, I just adjusted it to zero. I didn't touch the car. It then passed, but they got charged another 28 quid for that. They didn't, they didn't adjust that in the test center. They won't do it because they've been told not to do it by the Spanish company because the Spanish company wants retest because they make more money. It's true. It's true. I'm, again, I'm not blaming the testers not blaming the testers whatsoever they're not allowed to do it they've been told not to do it so they can only do what they're told to do this is not the testers who i'm blaming this is the spanish company who owns it owns the irish nct i know it sounds crazy can you imagine that another country running your car safety test and they're just in it for the money which anyway you have to check it out because I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's true. So what they've decided to do is, like I said, you can do half the test at a time. I mean, seriously, this is going to cost millions. God knows how many millions to replace these lifts. And whatever number they come out with, they say it's going to cost 10 million, 15 million. I guarantee you quadruple that. I reckon it's going to cost 20, 30 million to sort this out. And who's going to pay for it? Is the Spanish company going to pay for it? Is the Irish government going to pay for it? I actually don't know who's going to pay for it. But whoever ends up paying for it, at the end of the day, it's going to be us, and I mean by the people in Ireland, that are paying for it. Because our tests are going to go through the roof. Because they want to get this money back. Even though they make over 80 million a year, they could just sink this 20 million into it. It's not going to, it's not going to be anything to them. Still making 60 odd million. Who cares? But no, they won't do that. So our tests are going to go through the roof. God knows how much they're going to be after this. God knows what's going to happen after this in the sense that I don't know how long this is going to take. It's just going to cause more problems for people like me because obviously I'm not going to get the work. Um, and I'm going to get a huge, you know, a huge lot of work when it actually comes back in. People are going to forget about it and they're going to get into trouble. The cops, I was actually speaking to a cop this morning and he didn't even know. Um, even though they issued a statement saying that all the Guardi have been informed. This guy didn't know. He still thought it was just the North. So they haven't told all the cops yet. Um, and like he said, there's nothing we can do. Um, they're going to get excuses like, oh, I can't book my car and they won't let me. And like they said, what can they do? They, you know, this is the problem. This, what can they do? It's an absolute shambles. The people that run the NCT Spanish company shouldn't be fucking running it. It should be run either by a, the garages in Ireland or the government. That's my opinion. Because it, if it's run by the garages in Ireland, it's still a money-making scheme. Because obviously, yeah, the garages are making money. I don't mind that. But it's easier for the customer because they can drop the car off in the morning. They can get the car tested and whatever it needs, the garage will ring them up. You need a couple hundred quids worth of work. Do you want me to do it? And they say yes. They get a lift back in the evening and their car is done. It's done. It's dusted. To go to this te separate test centre and to do all this, fucking annoying. Um, the UK, the mainland UK have it right. Now, I'm not saying that that's got the best system because, of course, they get dodgy, and the dodgy test certificates and stuff like that. I'm not disputing that. That's going to happen no matter where you are. I just mean the system is like the best system, in my opinion, and it's easier for the customer. That's what the most important thing is. It's easier for the customer. Right, the Irish number plate is actually one of the best number plates in the world, I think, and I'll explain why in a minute. But see this here, this is the Irish. So this is Mayo, this means it was registered in Mayo, M-O, and this is the Irish for Mayo. Now, if this is missing, the car will fail. And I mean just this writing here. The Irish word, whichever um, county it's registered in, if that's missing, it will fail a test here. That's utter, utter ridiculous. The other ridiculous thing as well is that the test is part of the law. Now get this, you need it be able to be legally driving on the road if you don't have it 
you won't be insured and if you have an accident you won't re you know you're going to be in trouble let's put it that way you mostly won't your, your insurance well your insurance won't cover you and it's just it's stupid the cops maybe not really bothered about nct as much because it's not really this is what i'm trying to get at if you if your car passes the test you could literally drive straight out of the garage go down the road to a checkpoint and you can still get your car taken off you if they deem it unsafe it doesn't matter if it's just passed the test the test as regards a checkpoint and as regards the police mean absolutely nothing whatsoever so yeah and i think that's kind of in in any country really but it's just it means nothing it means absolutely nothing but yet you need it to be on the road it doesn't make sense but i have witnessed the difference before i then got the test and after the test and there's a huge difference believe me it's it's worked it does work and it has worked but it means nothing it's a piece of paper you pay for that means absolutely nothing when it comes to you know a police checkpoint that they could say the car is unsafe bald tires bad brakes whatever they can still deem it unsafe even though it's just passed the test it is what it is so yes as you can see it's just an absolute shambles it's going to mess up a lot of people and it's just going to cost us all people living in ireland an absolute fortune we pay enough taxes as it is we, we you know as regards taxes our taxes are unreal compared to most of the world like my car my 2.2 diesel car costs a thousand euros to tax a year a thousand euros for one year's tax it's utter ridiculous so you know and like i said the irish number plates if you actually look at them the first two uh, numbers are the year so 08 09 12 13 that was the year it was made then the next two are the country or the county it was registered in and then the the numbers at the end are how many were registered in that year so in other words if you just go out and buy a car and you've got a 2000 well say a 2009 car it'll be 09 you you, you register in say mayo for example it'd be mo and you was the 15,000 person to get a car it'll say 15,000 so it's really easy to read the plates and it you know it, it's really nice but that irish doesn't make the plates good or bad it doesn't make the car unsafe or not and yet it will fail for not having the irish on the plates and it doesn't affect the cameras either i understand if the numbers were wrong in different style it might affect the ampr cameras okay i understand that you need to have a, a legal uh, height number and thickness that's fine but the irish on it no it's fucking utter ridiculous but that's the way it is it's just absolutely ridiculous the test is an absolute shambles the way it's run by another country is just a nightmare it should be run in-house uh, by the government or by garages that's my opinion and why let that 80 million go off you know why let that 80 million go to another country where we could be doing using it here um you know even if you know they wanted to even if they didn't want the money they could give it to charity they could do something with it why why give it to a, a, a different country it just doesn't make sense i know we're all in the eu but that's not the, that's not what i'm trying to get at it's still why give all that money to someone where it's your own national car test it, it begs belief and like i said the other things the the dublin port tunnel the the cancer test and all that it's it's utter ridiculous ireland is one of the best countries in the world one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in the world but it's run by absolute fucking morons they don't know what they're doing they're all got their multi-million pound houses they don't give a shit where well, it's normal people that actually do but i suppose you could say that's any part of the world so that's it it will get sorted i'm sure it will eventually but god knows how much it's going to cost actually for us to get this sorted and uh, and god knows how much it's going to cost when we actually get to do this you know when, when it all comes back but that's it so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted